What's up guys, Chris here from Security Bros, back with another video, and today we are going to compare and test two of Reolink's 4K PoE bullet IP cameras, the RLC810A and the RLC811A, so hopefully this video will help you decide which one of these two cameras is the best for your needs, so let's go! In this video we are comparing the features and the image quality of these two cameras, but if you're looking for a more in-depth review on how to set them up or how the app works, you will find that on my channel as well, since I already reviewed both these cameras. So both cameras can be used either with a NVR or a standalone camera since they both have a micro SD card slot for local storage. However, it is recommended to use an NVR since 4K recordings do take up a lot of storage really quickly. And if we place the camera next to each other, we can see that the RLC811A is much bigger and heavier than the RLC810A. And both cameras are powered using PoE, which means you only need a network cable for both power and data. However, a PoE switch is needed unless you're using an NVR with PoE ports. Okay, so let's compare the features of these two cameras. The biggest difference between these two cameras is that the Reolink RLC811A uses a very focal lens instead of a fixed lens like the RLC810A. And you can zoom 5 times with its 2.7 to 13.5mm lens. And the RLC810A I got uses a 2.8mm fixed lens, but they also sell them with a 4mm and a 6mm lens. Another difference between them is that the RLC811A comes with built-in spotlights for full color night vision, while the RLC810A only uses infrared lights for normal black and white night vision. And both cameras uses a 8 megapixel sensor that records in 3840 by 2160 at 25 frames per second. And they're both using something called smart person and vehicle detection, which means they can tell the difference between humans and vehicles based on the shape of the object, which will help reduce false alarms. The RLC811A supports two-way audio so you can talk and listen through the camera, while the RLC810A only uses a microphone to record audio. Which also means the RLC811A can use an alarm siren and turn on the spotlights to scare away any intruders when motion is detected. They both support up to 256GB microSD card, and according to Reelink's website you should be able to get about 97 hours of recordings on a 256GB microSD card. And when the SD card is full, it will start to overwrite old recordings, so you don't have to manually delete recordings when it's full. Another feature of the RLC811A is that it supports time-lapse. Both cameras support Unviv, so you should be able to use them with most brands NVRs or software that supports Unviv. And they are both weatherproof with an IP66 rating, and the build quality is really good, so I'm sure they will last a long time being placed outdoors. Alright, let's have a look at some recordings. First out is the RLC810A, and this is daytime recorded with the highest image quality at 25 frames per second, with audio turned on. And here I am at around 10 meters from the camera. And same recording with the RLC811A. And here we have a side-by-side -side daytime comparison.
This is at night time recorded with the RLC 810A with the highest image quality. And same night time recording with the RLC 811A. And here I test the full color night vision with the RLC 811A. And a nighttime side by side comparison. So which camera should you buy? Let me first say that I think they are both great security cameras and the image quality is very good on both cameras, but in my opinion the best camera is the Reolink RLC 811A, since it has more features like a very focal lens and spotlights for full color night vision. But if you don't need all that then the RLC 810A might be a better choice since you will save a bit of money, especially if you buy more than one camera. Alright guys, that's all I had for this video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and I see you in the next one.